Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Let's Try Abyss Odyssey. So, it came out yesterday, it's made by Ace Team, I guess two days ago when this video goes out. Or whenever, I don't know, it came out on the 15th, 16th? Anyway, so it's the newest title by Ace Team, published by Atlas. Ace Team is the people that made Xenoclash 1 and 2, which are wildly different from this game. This is a 2D side-scroller, pseudo-roguelike, not really, just procedural generation levels. And it's weird. It's got an interesting concept, definitely. So there's Enter the Abyss, which is the main adventure. Uh, training, which is how you kind of learn your combos. This game apparently has quite the combo system, as well as you could also become enemies, which would be cool. Versus, which apparently four of us could fight in local. Not entirely sure what these do. I'll look at them later. Does not look like there are any options, though, interestingly enough. Do you see any? Help and options. Oh, there there is. <laughs> I figured I'd just take a look while we're here. Just in case, because I've been playing games. Ah, there we go. I'm going to turn off motion blur. I really don't like motion blur. Everything else will be fine, I think. Because frame rate seems to be pretty fine. How to play, keyboard settings. Should be good. Enter the abyss. Uh, local. This can also be played locally. Uh-oh. Uh, might actually not be able to unlock any other characters yet. Which kind of sucks. So yeah. Kinda looks like we're not going to be able to play the male character, which is kind of unfortunate because... Or maybe the first player always has to be her? No, I, I remember vaguely that you have to unlock the other characters, which kind of sucks. Hopefully we can unlock them quickly because there are two of us and we'd like to do co-op, unless Shell doesn't like the game, at which point I've <laughs> actually got a spare copy of this game because the developers are nice people, and I'll play that instead. I don't know. You don't like all games that we play. We review everything, but then I'm the, usually the one that plays it. She's grumping at me. What's Help! You doing here? Hey, you don't don't wow. fall behind, man. This is no abyss. place for a woman. Get out of here. Well, okay, we're going down. Hmm? There's no sound. Hmm. Well, that's a concern. Well, problem solved. Oh, okay. X to attack. Probably could have told me that one. Ooh, shinies. So that's cash. And there's a double jump system that actually is kind of finicky. You have to really press A at the top. Okay. Boink, 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 boink. It's like uh, Super Smash Brothers. Ow. Oh, why is why is the roof burning over there? Oh, that's a dude. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, it's a thing. What is it made out of? I think it's like a pseudo skeleton. Not entirely sure. Kind of hard to tell. Kind of wish treasure would magnetize to me a little bit better. Actually, it does. That's interesting. I like the little like shadow peoples that are showing showing up. I'm trying to. Oh, is there a grab? I think there's a grab. Maybe. Oh, see, yeah, kick. there's some other stuff. Yeah, because I'm doing kicks. And looks like... <laughs> looks like there's actually a fair amount of, like, combo toot that I can get going here. Yeah, I just did a thing to now, it. Now, is that using the <laughs> directional arrows to... Or joystick? So, yeah, directional arrows joystick plus right trigger is going to block mode. And so, apparently, if you do, like, combos and... So oh, does it control, like, brawl, then? B also does stuff. Uh... To a degree, yeah. What? Oh, there we go. You have to press in right, st right stick, not pull it down. Okay, find skill spheres to unlock new special attacks, which you can equip at any altar in the abyss. A special attack must be assigned to one of the three directions. To use a special attack in combat, press the corresponding direction plus special attack. Huh. Okay. Uh... Do, I can get one, and I so we have like Hadoken and empty. Uh, what are these? I guess we only That's have it. Hadoken right now. So all roads are Hadoken. Oh, interesting. But you can customize the Hadoken further. There we go. So damage, mana, defense. Interesting. Let's go damage. Oh, not enough skill points. I can't mm -hmm. keep assigning bits to that. That makes sense. Well, I'm glad to see that this actually has a level of customization. I was kind of afraid it would just be a basic beat em up, and that. I mean, I like I like me some beat em ups, but. He has a key attached to him. That's how we get through the door on the right. Hmm. Uh, but I was afraid this would be very similar to Dust and Elysian Tail. The grab really does not have a whole lot of range. Dude. Trying to see what he does. There I, we go. I've noticed that you don't have any health. Uh, right now we're invincible while we're in the tutorial. I see. Oh, I see. Huh? Who are you? Well, 
<laughs> I'm not very good at this game, obviously. I'm gonna have to get used to it. It's a little bit on the clunkier side of things, not terribly surprising there, honestly. Okay, so you can do trips and stuff, too. So, there you go. I like the combat in this system. Whoa, that's a big ball. Uh, I'm gonna have to get used to it. I'm expecting something a little bit faster, but the enemies here are actually kind of dangerous. Which is good. Watch out. Everything is crumbling around. Well, we're dead. Game over. I'll uh, see you guys in the next review. No, nope, never mind. I wonder who that woman was. There's much we don't know about this place. Huh? Incredible. What does this all mean? Allow me to explain. I am Katrien, and I am part of the Abyss. Whoever said this place was the Devil's handiwork wasn't far off. It began long ago with a warlock. For years now, he has slept deep beneath the earth. But his power is so great that even in sleep, his nightmares take form and terrorize the living. The monsters you fought, even the very abyss itself, are all conjurings of the warlock's mind. It's a nightmare that's lasted for years, with no end in sight. And are you also a warlock? A witch? No, I too am a conjuring of his imagination. Hmm. Oh! Uh, press start or something. <laughs> I can't choose anyone else. I guess you have to be exactly the same as me. Ah, um, okay. There's a slight more pink. Uh, purple. I'm I'm more the pink. You're more yeah, the magenta. I'm, I'm, and your hair is different saturated. color too. That is well done. I did not realize our hair was that ridiculous though going into this. And I'm glad that uh, the characters slightly color shifted. Let's talk to this because the cutscene in this game are cool. I saw those rocks crush you. I'm no more than a dream, fighting to stop the warlock to sleep beneath the abyss. Okay, I'm gonna have to comment. Notice how her hair is like super floofy in the picture, but it really just looks like the wind's kind of messing with it? Mm hmm. But a it 3D is model, we just have this like big bulbous hairdo, and it's kind of creepy looking. I'm not entirely sure who thought that was a good One idea. One thing I'm wondering though is if she's just another conjuring, why does she want the warlock dead if it means her own existence will perish? Well, think of it this way. Uh, even if you're an evil person, you probably had a conscience at some point. Or some amount that disagrees with what you're doing, correct? I, I, that's the thing, I don't think she's necessarily good or evil. I think, well, I think if, well, when you've dreamt, you've dreamt that there's some kind of opposition, right? Mm -hmm. you, uh, you, last night you said you were dreaming that there were zombies. Well, <laughs> she's the zombies of your dreams. Except for, really, she's just cognitive dissonance embodied as... A fairly attractive looking woman. I like her outfit, actually. I like that. The bracers are cool. Wait, what? No, I'm just saying that why would a dream want to end itself? Not so much end itself, but a dream is... A story is boring without some kind of adversary. And if there's no adequate adversary for what's in your dreams, then your dreams become part of your adequate adversary, if that makes sense. And apparently there's a shop. We actually have enough cash, so I could afford something else. Now, it looks like there's quite the number of items. We can only afford Saber. Oh. oh. You just set fire to me. I'm, I'm sorry. We can actually damage each other? How did you... Oh, okay. Interesting. So, right trigger's block. The bumpers are slide. That would be useful. How did you fire that? Oh, interesting. Like that. What is that? It's just why. Oh. Oh, uh, uh. Don't do that. Okay, so I was going to do this. Incorrect weapon type, incorrect weapon type. Okay, so it looks like each character has a different set of weapons that they can use. So there's the ghost monk and then the weird pseudo-naked looking lady. So, yeah, I guess... You mean the spear wielder? Yeah, so we can only use rapiers. Unfortunately, we're kind of poor. Wait, so what's RS? Right... Right stick down. <laughs> that was right stick down hey no no what happens if i just murder you seriously is there a way to turn off friendly fire there's no game settings yeah it's <laughs> friendly fire is enabled wait multiplayer there are no multiplayer options well i'm just gonna flee here, here. i'm I, already I, gone I, 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 
Uh, but didn't you get yourself a nice rapier What the weapon? heck just happened there? No, I didn't buy anything. Area difficulty, easy. Well, that's nice at least. That it starts off, off, starts us off with that. I am honestly a little bit disappointed you pressed down an A. Okay. To fall through platforms. I'm a little bit disappointed that there's friendly fire in this game. That's not exactly a design choice that I particularly would agree with in any scenario, honestly. Friendly fire kind of sucks. Especially for a hack and slashy type game. Maybe it's only in town. Uh, looks like we need a key. So we can't open that one up. Which is good. So, anyway. This game does feature... Whoops. That was me that just... Well, oh! There's wall jumping or something. Mm-hmm. That must have been what happened to me, because I was just jumping here. Yep. Oh! I... Evil, evil spiders. I think I killed one of them. Uh, don't, don't murder me. You're murdering me. Well, I'm poisoned too. That's okay though. So, uh, looking at this game now, visuals actually really nice. The enemy design is very appropriate for. Uh, am I? It's like a oh, pack. you, you just like flung me off into the wild blue yonder. Did I fling you off, or was it yeah. just him? Here, how do I pick? I don't know. Up? Uh, right stick, press in. There we go. Oh, come on. So, the... Confusing. Yeah, the controls are a little bit weird, especially for the uninitiated, which is less of a problem for me, definitely more of a problem for a beginner like Shell. Cause hey, 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 I'm no beginner. You're a beginner enough. You I just don't one. play with Xbox controllers. Oh, interesting. Camp token required. You can set a checkpoint here. Oh, well, I'm going to pick this up. Configure skills. Can I curse bracelet? No, nope. that's interesting. Uh, where, where does that curse bracelet do anything oh well doesn't bother me too much I, I guess we just got the loot and can continue on somewhere oh follow me i mean you're wearing it i am oh i am that's really cool i didn't expect the equipment would show up in the game but i guess if it's just like a bangle or anything like that kind of could work well <laughs> you just murdered me again <laughs> okay so uh, That's what the down stick is. So for first critique of this game, friendly for oh hello, we got friends. So first critique of this game, friendly fire, very bad thing. Monster design, fantastic. I'm really impressed visually, at the very least. But you know, friendly fire, not keen on that, definitely. Ow. See, yeah, just watch watch out. All right, why uses the fireball? Now, it looks like there's mana. I'm not entirely sure if mana recovers over time or not. It's kind of hard to tell if it does. Well, you just you just keep hitting me. I, I wasn't we... even in range. I don't know how. Yeah, you hit me with a long attack. Okay, so it looks like there are little healing potions on the ground and whatnot. There we go. And that's a poison uh. on the ground. So, also, apparently if you're looking in direction, your character will just continually attack, even if you're pointing a different direction on the right stick. Because you can actually, instead of doing, like, up and X, you can just do up and down with the right stick to do the equivalent moves. Mm -hmm. Which kind of makes sense. Makes it a little bit easier to pick out what. Nope. Can't use that spear. So it looks like there's also a bunch of random loot. Though I don't think the... I'm not entirely sure if all the loot you get to keep, though. Like, the weird charm. I guess we'll, well have to see after off. we die. Yep, so... Oh wow, these are sort of like deer centaur. But yeah, friendly fire is bad in this. I should really see if there's a way of turning that off, because that's a problem. Visually, I the trailers do not do this game justice visually in the slightest. They're just wrecking me. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide over here before you just murder me. So I didn't murder you. You just took off half of my health. Not that I had I much. was attacking this. Doesn't matter. If I'm the- Oh, hey, 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 See? hey, stop, you, stop. You're just going to die and pay for it. Pay for your transgressions. I want to go- Who's this guy? Uh, I don't know. Talk to him. My sayings give wisdom to some, oh. but not much of anything to others. <laughs> Care to listen for a hundred gold? Care to listen to what? What goes around, comes around. Okay, so... Ow! Yeah, watch out for that. That was hitting me while I was in the cutscene, and there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah. View map. 
<laughs> wow, this is going to take a long time to get through. Are we only in P1? Well, we're going to be going on to P2, presumably. But we've if missed we some things. We're Look not going to survive. Health. I mean, realistically, this game features death as a major mechanic. As in, we will die and start over, but we'll have more, you know, money and experience to deal with. If you notice, we're at, you know, 418. Hard. Hard uh -oh. difficulty. Yep. Okay. You stay at one side of the screen and I am the That's other. That's what I was trying to do earlier. It's not my fault that you can't keep your hands off of me. What? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean here? Either you're going to get the pot or I am. Well, I'll let you get it because you're a danger to everybody. In fact, you'd be at much higher health if I wasn't, like, vengeance battling you. Oh, well, I'm I'm dead. Or almost dead. Unfortunately, the enemies are hard, well, so let me attack from the be opposite wary side. of them. I'm just going to shoot fireballs from here. Oh, dead. Yep, I'm dead. Apparently our name is Ken- What? You have to fight as Mr. Sweet! Uh, <laughs> Mr. Night Dude. Unfortunately, Mr. Night Dude has very little health. And unfortunately, the enemies are a little bit more on the dangerous side of things. I'm just gonna- Ow! She butt kicked uh. me. <laughs> Apparently we're just random dudes now. Uh, well, this okay. is confusing. Watch them be, you know, substantially better than the main protagonist. They're actually, as far as I can tell, weaker by a fair amount. I killed this one. This one's almost dead. Ah, oh, but they can spear ya. Hey, what? You, I mean, just, <laughs> you just double kicked yeah, me to the face. Yeah, so is coming up from. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, might as well talk about visuals and whatnot for a second. Can I carry this? No. So visually, game is really distinct. I, I'm really appreciating this. It's like Castlevania, but in a... You can't. You can dodge avoid through that. them. Or not. Well, I mean, if you get hit by it, it at least launches you the direction you want to go. I'm going to keep going this way. That looks kind of scary, though. Yeah, the blue flames. Well, oh, that hurt. Never mind. I'm going down here. See ya. But, what? Nope, it's not worth it. I just lost 200 health falling into the miasma. It's not worth it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> This game is also kind of hard, but that's it. Ow! Well, you're on your own. Whoa! Whoa! I'm gonna move over here so there's room for you. There we go. On guard! <laughs> it looks like we're fencing. Of course it does. Well, I missed there. Uh, looks like there are branching paths along the map. Looks like there's kind of an in-depth skill Whoa. system. They do, they do kicks I'm gonna in drink this. Apparently I have a potion. What's the potion do? No idea how to drink potions. It doesn't tell me buttons here. That's blocked. That's also blocked. What's that's? Oh, apparently we have a gun. Yep, uh, that was the spell. Okay, so I I picked up a potion of some variety. No idea how to drink it. Uh, I'll figure that out someday, presumably. And apparently we've actually made it down to down to level three or something. Sweet. Oh. Santa Lucia, Procuro, and Sacramentinos must be three different towns that we can get to at some point. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can, like, travel between them by going up and down the dungeons. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, An easy area. That's good, because we're very low on health. And you have a silver key for something. Yep. I, I assume you get to just get... Oh, more centaurs. The evil centaur ladies. Well, I'm not above butt pokes. Now, the, here's the question. Okay, so she has the... Ow. Yep. One of you two has the ability to break my blocks. I'm not entirely sure in, what to do in this case, so I'm just gonna hang out over here and <laughs> shoot you in the face. Uh, of course you shoot me right when she's, you know, down. Uh, okay, look, if I'm directly behind the enemy, don't just immediately come up and start then wailing on her. What am I supposed her. to do? Just stand here and wait? What do you think I've been up to? Because... I'd say maybe half of my health has been a result of you stabbing me. So, yes, if this game had... I, I think this game would be vastly better if it didn't have friendly fire issues. Because as it stands... Whoa, spikes, right. As it stands, the friendly fire issues make it very difficult to play this game properly with another player. Like, it definitely feels like a single-player experience at heart that has co-op tacked on to an and, unfortunate degree. And I want to help, but I don't know what my reach is. Yeah. I, I'm just hiding over here because she could quite literally murder me very quickly. Oh, well, you're oh, dead. Oh, what? There we go. Uh, oh. I'm, I think I'm gone gone. Yep, you're gone gone. Oh, hey, there's a butterfly. 
does seem like the game switches between frame rates a little bit for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. It like depends it depends upon the effects oh. of the bugs, probably. Uh, uh, I think it's the light rays, actually. Yeah, it's the lighting. Because every once in a while, the frame rate just chugs because the light rays are coming through. Though I really like them. Like, visually, this game... I, I keep saying this. I'm really impressed with the visuals. The music is kind of super... Oh, boy. So am I essentially going to have to wait for you to complete the level before I can rejoin you, or am I done? It's not going to take long. Notice my health is very low. That guy just looks like he's... Nervous system, man. <laughs> He dodged you a couple times there. I, I'm pretty much button mashing because I don't know what the combos are. Well, there, there, I'm dead. That took almost no effort on his part. Those, those are eyes in the back. I thought the it was like a kind of witch doctory type thing. Oh, interesting. New area under attack. An earthquake has caused great devastation at Pakuro Park. Oh, interesting. So this is the dream. Yeah. So this shows us the map. So, this time when we go... Okay. The, oh, interesting. We have a new special attack, too. Cool. But... Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, if you look at the map, this time it will tell you what areas are going to be difficult if you're looking over. Are you pressing up and Y? I'm just jumping in Y. Hey, hey. Oh, that's because I need to set the skill, don't I? That yes. would make sense. Oh, I have a different skill. What's this one? I have no idea. So, it's like some kind of it's weird flourish. flourish. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Here, does it heal hold you on. or do anything else? Get over here. No, no, no. I mean, it doesn't kill you immediately. I have no idea what that one does, but it's kind of interesting. So... I, I keep saying this, and I will never stop saying this. Get, this game is visually amazing. Gameplay, pretty fun. Uh, friendly Look at fire. How just turning back and forth, you get that braid swish. Yeah. And I, it looks like it's actually physics based. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's a physics object as opposed to some kind of. Wow. Animation. Look at it go. Helicopter hair. Oh, I screwed it up. <laughs> this is really well done. I like this game. This game is really, really, really fun. Uh, yeah. Honestly, only critique. Freaking friendly fire. Please let me turn it off, Ace Team. Please let me turn it off. Oh, and look at these. What are... The, you know, the rolls, the twists in the air, the... Yeah. yeah. No, Ace Team, I mean, Ace Team's always been pretty cool at doing weird things. But the animations that they've got going here are pretty top-notch. The block... I, I like the fact that blocking is visually distinct with the circle behind you, because enemies do it too, and it becomes obvious. You've got this Were ability so you for, can like, break a, a block. Look? That's what it seemed like. For here, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, they really are going for Art Nouveau, especially for the cutscenes. We didn't even talk about it that much, but I really like the character dialogue when you stop and talk. That's oh, yeah, because they have the black outlines, the yeah. lightly gradated colors, and... Then, yes, these are reminiscent of what you would find behind yeah. many of, like, Alphonse Mucha's work. Yeah. So, and I... And also, it seems like the guys are wearing a... What is it? Well, sort of early 1900s, late... It's 1866 1860? Chile, uh, Chilean military garb. Ch Chilean military garb, okay. Yeah, well... Because I've seen that... It, it looked almost reminiscent of Civil War to me, and I'm like, mm, hmm. it, it makes sense for the time. Across the board. Which so this must be Prokuro Park. Hey, look. It's like, uh... I guess it must be a Chilean type of relic back there. That's kind of cool. I'm not hearing this, are you? Nope, I'm not either. That's interesting. So I guess not all of the dialogue must be voice acted. Though, what is actually voice acted was pretty good, too. Yeah, from this what is I tell. definitely, uh... This is no nouveau. Art Nouveau for sure. I, I like the character art, too. Like, I I was expecting, you know, the 3D art to be pretty good. And I'm a bit floored that the 2D art is this nice. Like, who, whomever's on the art team on Ace Team outdid themselves. Even beyond Xenoclash. But, so they're spreading their forces thin. Yep. So, yes. What's this guy? Need a lift, my friend? Ten coins and I'll take you. Oh. Hmm. Okay, you can take this guy between 
sections of, from like town to town or sections of the town. I'm not entirely sure if it's the same town or whatnot. This is just the vendor and this is the guy that tells you, just like, you're going down again. But I like these entrances too. But I think this is probably a good point to hop out of the game. I mean, we haven't shown a boss fight. Chances are we're not going to get there. We also haven't uh, found any of the other characters. Chances are we're not going to get there for a while either. And honestly, I'm not finding anything wrong with this apart from a couple of frame rate issues, but I think that's mostly my computer. So if you got like a middle grade mm -hmm. computer, wow, that's pretty. Yeah, the backgrounds are really good. This is one of the, this is a 3D, Whoa. yeah, that, attack like plant. plant. You're going to want to, okay, move forward and now jump because yep. it's on a timer. But the like backgrounds, look at them, they're, ow. Uh -huh. They're gorgeous and really impressive. We're apparently sitting on quite a lot of cash, too. I wonder what's up here. Do you kind of wish it would go into, like, mandatory split-screen mode? Because if, if yeah. the characters get split up in any way, shape, or form, it becomes a serious problem. I, I, I'm i getting damaged, injured, eaten, I don't know what. Yep, and it also makes the framer really unhappy with you. Where am I? Oh, I'm not oh, you're over here. here. You, yeah, you were getting damaged by spike traps. Uh, <laughs> when we get separated, don't just immediately run off and assume... That's how things are gonna go. Well, this is this is hurting my eyes right now, though. Yeah, just the frame rate. I yeah, think maybe the background is just too involved with all of the steam and the fireflies. Oh, and, and it's the water effects in the background, which steam, is kind of a shame. Water and fireflies. Yeah, but I think it was also because we were getting spread out. So it's kind of this like weird marsh in the background. And it looks like there might be a waterfall or something too, which is quite pretty. I I am thoroughly impressed. Oh, hello. Boss time. It's a big. Big bird I'll get the I'll get the one over here. Okay, so apparently the flourish, oh the flourish gives me like a temporary boost in attack because I'm attacking a heck of a lot faster. Now oh, that didn't work. There's like a dry it or. I I think we're still getting our asses kicked though, which is kind of a bit of a pain. I like the creature design. It's definitely Ace Team inspired. Obviously, you okay over there? Mhm. Mm because I'm fighting this thing and it's. It's kicking my ass more than a little bit. Oh, you can trip it. That's convenient. And it's dead. And we get a journal I'm page. I'm almost done with this. She's like a dryad. I'll just hang out over here then. Because otherwise things are going to hurt. More than a little. That is a pretty dryad too. I am I am, I am impressed. So realistically, I can see this game getting a little bit monotonous. Especially with the... Oh, no, those oh, are spikes. Spike traps. And oh. you're on fire, potentially. I, I can see it getting a little bit monotonous with all of the issues. Uh, I don't think we have that key. Kind of wish we did. Okay, look. Attacking me whoa, is whoa, not going no, to open I up the door. I attacked the door! <laughs> attacking but me is... look! Maybe we, it's we a needed statue that... of all three. Oh, interesting. So, I guess there must be some significance in this warlock's dream. But this review is running a little bit long, so I think this is a, <laughs> as good of a place as any to call it quits. Because at this point, you're not even reviewing. You're just having fun stabbing me in the butt. Oh, I just want to see where we go and when we're going to encounter the other characters. I would like to know that too. Okay, oh. I'm going to hang out over here. These guys use the exact same animation set as the uh, soldier people that became here. Oh, that was cool. I did like a... I'm doing like... Not parkour. I'm doing break dancing moves. Well, yes, you're low. And apparently we're level two now. Or at least I'm level two. Not entirely sure when you're gonna get it, but hey, not the end of the world. So I've got like a royal guard guy here. Ow. He's hurt. He's hurting me. Oh, and you've got the wish lady got... from earlier, and you're almost dead. Well, that yeah, honestly makes sense. Ouch. Well, this is the, the this bird is, man. Yeah, this is a higher level, so. Oh, and you get to be him again. Oh, apparently my fire. He said that I must him. find one of the altars and bring. Some so apparently you can you can get your character back. Yeah, it's like Wizard Lizard where you actually have you know this person is a real pain in the ass. The person with the spear is very blocky. That must be some kind of like more advanced royal guard type fellow. It would help you if I couldn't harm you. It's okay. He's dead. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like you can get your character revived if you really, if you really want to. Or if you can find an altar. You know, I bet that locked door with the three characters is how you get your character revived. Like, towards the end of the level, there's treasure over here. The minimap is tiny. I guess that's another complaint. Oh, I haven't been looking at it at all. Oh, I have a key now. Yep, so technically if we went back, can we even go back up? Uh, that's, that's something I want to check out. Yep. Because if we could go back and find that altar, it'd be kind of cool. 
maybe that would be how you unlock characters. But I have no idea apart from that. And this is definitely going to be one of our longer reviews, but that's okay, because there's a lot to show off, and realistically, nope, we're not going back up. Uh, no, so I guess no it's a one-way trip down, but kind of makes sense, considering Then why do I things. have a key now? Or because there are other locked chests and doors as we go down. Hopefully. Doesn't look like you take falling damage for falling long distances. I do kind of wish the jumping was a little bit floatier. Watch out for that thing. Uh, the traps are nice. They actually feel like traps. They hurt. And they surprise... Sur they're a bit of a surprise. Yeah, watch out for those things. They shoot like fire motes. Ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I should have just waited for them to pull As I was saying. Hey. Here, there's a lock chest over here. Right stick. What the? Oh, there we go. That hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna let these fire. And then I'm gonna keep going. Uh, the levels are short. It's over here. Uh, oh. Hmm. We need a camp token. Uh, we've got kind of a spear thing. So we need to purchase camp tokens. Probably. Yeah, if we want to set checkpoints and revive at these, potentially. I think it's like a temporary revive or something like that. Kind of hard to tell. But that's the kind of thing that we'd probably figure out by playing the game as we get out. But I'm not I'm not going to follow you down because, <laughs> like I said, this review is going a little long. It's cool. It's awesome. I want to keep playing this. Oh, <laughs> I might need to divorce as part of all of this game. Like, bo before... Uh, <laughs> Before we're done this game, it might switch down to a solo act where one of us has murdered each other one too many times and our relationship has gone to shambles and, you know, the ending commentary just will just be pure weeping. what he would do, like, if he did a breakdance thing, but no, it was just... I'm just dead. No, you're not. I'm just permanently dead. No, this you're is, not. This is your fault. This is your fault, scum lord. Anyway, so, beautiful game, fun to play. The friendly fire kind of sucks. Hopefully they mm -hmm. add an option to turn it off. I might actually shoot them an email begging for that just because, uh, you know, accident prone fiance slash, you hey, know. Hey, hey, hey. No, you hit me plenty of times as well. Most of those were vengeance. Vengeance. But. It was just because, you know, you can't wail on the opposite side of someone. I think my only other complaint is that the portraits for the oh, heads gosh, up display. Oh the guy looks sinister. The guy looks sinister and she just looks ugly. I wish they were using the illustrated <laughs> the portraits art? instead. Yeah, because those illustrated portraits are gorgeous, and it's a darn shame that they're not using them that way. Apart from that, I honestly can't see much wrong with this game. I can see it getting monotonous, especially the enemies. It is a little bit clunky, but realistically, not a whole lot of games have particularly fluid, you know, 2D platformer action melee combat that, you know... Really, I think they were trying to go for, like, a Dark Souls level of combat, and didn't quite get there. But I'm not going to fault them too much for that. Apart from that, really good game. So, with that, uh, thanks for watching this review. If you want to see any more, feel free to hit subscribe. If you liked this one, if you liked seeing Shell stab me in the back repeatedly, <laughs> please hit like. It helps more than you would know. And if you want to leave a comment or make fun of us for being a terrible couple, feel free to do so <laughs> below. Otherwise, okay. we'll see you guys on the next review. I wasn't dead! No, 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 <laughs> Make no, my no. escape! Oh, Carl, I knew you weren't dead! <laughs> you can't you... even figure it out. I win! Eh. <laughs>